Ladies and gentlemen, your gym power has returned. This time, not with the cancer that is League of Legends, but with the cancer on steroids, Overwatch. This video will be the only Reaper guide you will ever need, and probably the only Overwatch guide I will ever make, because I cannot stand just about every character in this entire game. So, just bear with me here, because I might go on a few rants. Now, Eekas up! Now, if I was to compare Reaper to an anime character, it would be none other than your boy Yoshikage Kira. I say this because he's just trying to lay low and not be noticed, and then BOOM! You kill him in one hit! Now, the thing with Reaper and Kira is that you have to get close to the enemy to blow them up, despite how little health you have compared to most close range heroes. This is why going unnoticed is the best option because you can kill them before they have a chance to counterattack. Well, unless you're fucking far and fly in the ozone layer the entire match. Like, I literally cannot do anything! Like, Blizzard, did you really think this was balanced? Reaper is also known as the tank killer due to his AoE shotguns, which are perfect for those fat fucks like Abraham who eat up every bullet. These tanks will usually be 3-4 to four shot kills from full health, like Orisa, Reinhardt, Winston, Zarya, and Rode. Fuck, that character is so fair. A tank that can one-shot and heal all his health back? Are you fucking trolling me, Jeff? Whew, now that we have gone over the basics, let's go over Reaper's abilities. Reaper's passive really shows just how dark Reaper really is. Every time an enemy is killed, they drop a soul that could be stolen to restore 50 HP. This should be used to retreat at low health or to stay alive while ulting. Reaper's next ability is Wraith Form. This is a very simple ability that makes Reaper invulnerable and gain a bit of movement speed. This should usually be used to retreat back to your team or move faster out of spawn. Next is Reaper's most hated ability, despite how useful it is and important to his kit it is, Shadow Step. Shadow Step allows Reaper to teleport to any location with a decent distance. This can occasionally be used to retreat due to its small casting time before you actually teleport, but its main function is to get behind the enemy team to set up a perfect ultimate. Reaper's ultimate is Death Blossom. Arguably the best ultimate in the entire game, this ability can turn a game around in a matter of seconds. However, you are not invincible while using this ability and it can be stopped by something as simple as a McCree Flash or a Roadhog Hook. This is why it is so important not to be seen when you use this ability. The element of surprise is what makes this move good. Okay, so now that we've gone over abilities, it's time to tell you the key in being a Reaper main. To be good at Reaper, you have to be Reaper. You have to hate every fucking broken character in this shitty fucking game and want to kill them all. You have to evil laugh in real life after every ultimate as well. <laughs> Just like Spongebob said, be the re- Are you actually fucking kidding me, Jeff? A hero that can one-shot you from across the entire map? What actually made you think that was balanced? Like, I swear, half the characters in this game are literally not fair in any shape or form. Widow, Roadhog, Mei, Symmetra, Diva, Farah, Genji, Junkrat, Hanzo, Tracer? None of these characters are fair in any way. If you fuckers over at Blizzard won't remove them, then I guess I'll fucking have to myself so I can play this game for once without wanting to find the enemy team in real life and beat the fuck out of them. <sighs> fuck!